Hey, it's Dougie Fresh in the flesh. About to give you my absolute best to the last. Breath, sizzling, delivering, zeal and zest to help you on your quest of becoming your best. I'm here to knock you about your comfort nest once again, my friend. Because we're talking about practicing productive procrastination, which is powerful. And I'm here with the Pit Panther who told me to be phenomenal, Dougie. And one powerful way I know to be phenomenal is through practicing productive procrastination. What I mean is, whenever you have an assignment, school, paper, uh, a project, a product you're gonna launch for your business, you know, any of the mirror different things it could be that you wanna, that you should be doing, your A1 task that you need to focus on, we often do other things. But what are we doing? Are we on Netflix? Are we just on our phone, not aware of what we're doing? Well, one tool I use is I like to practice productive procrastination, which is I'm gonna do something like reading. I'm gonna organize, I'm gonna do some learning, I'm gonna recharge, I'm gonna take a walk, I'm gonna go for a run, I'm gonna do yoga, I'm gonna do something that supports and serves me and doesn't drain my willpower. Okay, you don't wanna drain your willpower when you're procrastinating. Okay. Now you know about the six P's. Proper prior planning prevents poor performance. So if you do that, you won't procrastinate as much. Now here's the point of this video. Oftentimes when we procrastinate, that's the thing we should be doing for our life's work, for our purpose, for our mastery, for our career. That's the footprint of what we should be doing. I remember I was taking physics and and even in the internship I just had, I kept going back to making videos and reading and watching videos and learning about things I want to do, speaking, uh, writing, writing, a lot of things I want to be doing, I would do as procrastination. That's when I realized, well, this is what I should be doing for my life. So that's the best, again, footprint to show you what your mission could be, what you could be doing for a career. That's a great, great way to identify, hey, I'm doing this a lot, maybe I should dance, or I'm doing art all the time, maybe that's what I should be doing, maybe I should make it a career, monetize it somehow, well, that's maybe what you should do, so I'm here to let you know that, stay fresh, stay blessed.